Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mahesh Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to solve problem sum based on economic order quantity, also known as EOQ, under the subject logistic and supply chain management. Again, a very important video for all the TYBMS M5 students. In this video, we are going to take up two different types of sums which are uh, usually keep coming up under the topic economic order quantity. Okay. So let us see what are the two different types of sum that uh, are the most important and can be replicated in as many ways in the paper. Okay. Chalo, let us see how to solve uh, EOQ. But before that, before solving the sum, first we will note down the various formulas that are required in order to solve problem sum based on EOQ. Okay. Chalo, we'll start with the formulas first. The first formula, the major formula is actually EOQ. The economic order quantity is equal to the square root of 2 into A into O divided by C, where A is your annual demand, O is ordering cost, and C is carrying cost, which is always a percentage on CPU. Okay, so this is the most important formula. I want everyone to first note it down. Okay, now after finding the EOQ, they will ask you to find the total inventory cost, meaning the total cost of having the, those much of units or those much of products or raw material. So for that, uh, another formula is required. So for that, there is uh, there are set of format that you need to learn. First is material cost. Material cost is A into P, that is annual demand into CPU, that is price per unit. Total ordering cost, which is annual demand divided by EOQ into O, O is ordering cost, then inventory carrying cost that is half into EOQ into C, C is carrying cost. So once you get those three formulas, then you have to apply to the major actual major formula. Total inventory cost is equal to material cost plus ordering cost plus total inventory carrying cost. Now for those three things, material ordering and inventory, we have three different formulas that's A, B and C. Okay, Chalo, I want everyone to note down these three formulas also along with the major one. So then now based on this, we'll see what kind of sum they can ask us to find. Okay, let us take the very first sum. Okay, let us see the second type of sum. Uh, the question reads as define EOQ. So here you will have to put a theoretical part. The annual demand for a particular item is 20,000 units. The unit cost is rupees 5. The carrying cost on an average inventory is 20% and the ordering cost per order is rupees 40. They are asking us to find the EOQ and the total inventory cost. Okay, so now let us see how to solve such kind of sum. First, we will just note down what all things have been given to us. Annual demand is 20,000 units. Uh, the unit cost is 5 rupees. Carrying cost is 20% and ordering cost is 40. Now, based on whatever has been given, we will be creating, uh, you know, we will be noting down the data. First, Annual demand 20,000 units, CPU is 5, carrying cost is 20% of 5, which becomes 1 rupee, ordering cost is 40. Now, based on this, first we need to find the EOQ. So, EOQ is equal to root of 2 into A into O divided by C. A is annual demand, which is 20,000. O is ordering cost, which is 40. C is 1 rupee. So, 20,000 into 40 divided by 1 into 2 whatever that is and then whatever answer you get we need to find the square root of that so 2 into 20,000 into 40 divided by 1 whatever value you get square root of that will come to 1265 since points will be rounded up to 1265 now once we have got the EOQ the second thing that we need to find is total inventory cost not for total inventory we require three things number one Material cost, which is annual demand into cost per unit. Annual demand is uh, 20,000 units, cost per unit is 5 rupees. We multiply them. So 20,000 into 5 is equal to 1 lakh rupees. Second, 
we need to find the total ordering cost. So total ordering cost is equal to annual demand upon EOQ into O. Annual demand was 20,000, EOQ was 126Y, ordering cost is 40. So 20,000 upon 126Y into 40 will give you 632 rupees. Last, we need to find the inventory carrying cost. Half into EOQ into C. Half into EOQ is 1265, C is 1 rupee. So 1 into 1265 into 1 divided by 2, we get it as uh, 632.5. Once we have all the three values, we can apply into the final formula. Total inventory cost is material cost plus ordering cost plus inventory carrying cost. 1 lakh plus 632 plus 632.5, we get the total value of 1 lakh. 1264.5 rupees okay this is how you all had to solve this particular sum i'll give you a, a few moments to note it down go through it once Okay, chalo, I hope everyone have understood this. Okay, so this is how you all had to solve uh, the problem sum when they asked you to find the EOQ and the total inventory cost. So I'll give you a couple of, uh, you, know, uh, uh, you know, a couple of seconds to just go through the question and see what formula we have applied. So this is basic kind of sum which can be asked. Now in this, we can even have an advanced category sum which are going to solve after the sum. So till then you can just go through to this and then we'll jump to the next sum. Okay, next. Now this is an advanced version of the sum that we had done. The question reads that the annual demand for a particular item is 15,000 units. So annual demand is 15,000. The unit cost is rupees 4. So cost per unit is 4. Carrying cost on an average inventory is 30%. So carrying cost is 30% and the ordering cost is given as 50. Number 1, find EOQ. Number two, find total inventory cost and third, now that's a new thing which has come up. So the third one, we'll, we'll go through that later on. First, we'll solve the first and the second part that was done in the previous sum also, okay? First, the EOQ for that, we first note down the data. Annual demand was five, uh, 15,000, okay? CPU was 4 rupees. Carrying cost is 30%, 30% of 4 rupees. So 4 into 30% is 1.2 and ordering cost is 50 rupees. EOQ ka formula 2 into A into O divided by 6, A is 15,000, O is 50 and C is 1.2, we have substituted the values into the formula, 2 into 15,000 into 50 divided by 2, whatever is divided by 1.2, whatever answer you get, press the square root button, sign on your calculator and you will get the EOQ as 100 and, sorry, 1,118 units, now it, you will get the answer in points, units can never be in points or rounded up, so it will be 1118 units. That is the first thing what they had asked us to find. Second, they are asking us to find the total inventory cost. Now for total inventory cost, we require three things. First, material cost, that is A into P. Annual demand is 15,000, P is 4 rupees. So 15,000 into 4, which comes to 60,000 rupees, number one. That is the A thing, A amount that we required. B is the total ordering cost. That is annual demand upon EOQ into O. Annual demand is 15,000, EOQ is 1118 and O is 50. We substitute the value, we get the answer as 670.8 rupees. Once we got the ordering cost, third thing that we need is total inventory carrying cost. Half into EOQ into C, EOQ is 1118. 
C is 1.2 and half. So half into triple one eight into 1.2 again gives you 670.8 rupees. Once we have A, B, and C, all these three values, we can apply into the final answer. Inventory carrying cost is not the total inventory cost is nothing but material cost plus ordering cost plus inventory carrying cost. Sixty thousand plus six seven zero point eight plus six seven zero point eight. We get the total value as sixty one thousand three hundred and forty one point six rupees. Okay, so this is how we had to solve the second part: total inventory cost. So this was similar to the first sum that we did. Okay, so here there are no changes, but the third one on that is something new. Now it, I'm reading the third part. If the purchase manager has decided to place the order, the purchase order with minimum order quantity of three thousand units. So now your minimum order is nothing but EOQ. The economic order quantity is three thousand units. Then you will get a cost discount of ten percent per unit. Per unit was four rupees. They said, if the EOQ rather than eight eleven hundred one thousand one hundred eighteen units, if we take EOQ as three thousand, we will get ten percent discount on the unit cost. So state the purchase manager if it is justified in his decision or not. So we have to see whether his decision to have an EOQ of three thousand unit is good or not. So remember the total inventory cost here is sixty one thousand three forty one. When we'll solve this part, if we get a cost less than sixty one thousand three forty one, then it will be a justified decision of the purchase manager. Chalo. So first we will note down the new data which they are given us. Okay. Now remember the new data. EOQ is three thousand units. The CPU. The cost per unit, which was four rupees, they said, if I take three thousand units as a new EOQ, we will get a ten percent discount. So four minus ten percent, we got the new cost per unit is three point six rupees. Carrying cost for thirty percent or thirty percent of the new CPU, that is three point six. The thirty percent is zero one point zero eight. Ordering cost was fifty and A was fifteen thousand. Okay, since EOQ is already given, we don't have to refine the EOQ. We will start with direct material cost. Material cost was formula A multiplied by P. A is fifteen thousand. P is the new P that we have, that is three point six rupees, which comes to fifty four thousand. Next, total ordering cost is annual demand fifteen thousand upon EOQ three thousand, the new EOQ three thousand into ordering cost O. So 15 divided by 3 into 50, we got the value as 250 rupees. Total inventory carrying cost is half into EOQ, which is new 3000, and C is also new, which is 1.08. So half into 3000 into 1.08, we get the value as 1620. Once we have all the three values, we can apply the final answer. Total inventory carrying cost or total inventory cost is material cost plus ordinary uh, plus ordering plus inventory carrying cost. Fifty-four thousand plus two fifty plus one six two zero, the amount comes to fifty-five thousand eight hundred and seventy. Using the previous answer, the total inventory cost based on the EOQ that we had found, we got the inventory was more than sixty-one thousand. But if the purchase manager takes three thousand units as a EOQ, the amount, the total carrying cost reduced to fifty-five thousand eight seventy. So is it a justified decision? My final answer will be yes. It is. A, it is justified to go with the order quantity of three thousand by the purchase manager. So this is how you all had to solve the problem sum. Okay, based on discount factor. So first you need to find EOQ, the total inventory. Then they'll give you any adjustment related to discount, and you have to refine the total inventory cost. Compare if it is a better option, then you have to say it is justified. If not, not a justified option. Okay, so I hope everyone understood both these types of sums, which can be appear in our paper. So with that, we will be ending this video here. Thank you.